<clears throat> so I was um, I was talking to um, um, someone today about these uh, EVs and the electric cars and uh, I thought I'd do a little short video about it because uh, it's been absolutely crazy from what I heard the um, um, Ford um, the car manufacturers Ford and General Motors, I think that's a United States um, car manufacturer, General Motors. Um, um, they've, they've, lo they've basically saying that they've lost billions, right? Now, uh, I wanted to mention a little bit about this because some of these cars, sorry, some of these um, um, these cargo ships, they've lost thousands of cars um so that equates to billions really in in actual financial loss to to do with the, the car manufacturers and because of the um cars catching fire and also the other issue is that the um uh, people in america at the moment uh the the, the electric cars they're not working they, they, they don't work in freezing temperatures and from what I understand the uh, temperatures are like minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit I think it is so that's well below freezing in the centigrades so that's that's close to around tw 23 is it or 22 centigrade so that's really extremely cold so these basically what's happening is people um, are starting to um, turn the backs on electric vehicles um, so there's another one here that is North Sea EV cargo ship um, that was five months ago um, and it's everywhere so there's all this debate going on um, but why isn't the main media covering it more extensively obviously Sky News apparently as this article in the middle there says from Sky News they're basically putting these silly questions out. What's fire caused by electric car? Well, obviously, because um, from what I understand, when these when these cars are uh, taken on board these ships, um, they only put a, a minimum amount of fuel on the vehicle um, because they have to keep the loads, uh, they have to keep the weight down, so they only put enough fuel in for the car to basically be taken on board and um and also to be taken off the ship when it gets to the other end so imagine what would happen if the every single if there's five thousand vehicles on a ship and they filled all the tanks up with fuel um that would cause the ship to not be able to carry as many cars so obviously the they put a minimum amount of fuel on gasoline or diesel vehicles to keep the weight down and uh so and then they're talking about, is it an electric vehicle? Well, it's obvious that it's an electric vehicle because lithium batteries, you can't just, um, you can't change the weight of a, an electric vehicle uh, because they're either charged or not charged. And the problem with electric vehicles, usually they have, um, um, they have a substantial charge on them anyway, probably 50% for storage because lithium batteries, from what I, all the research I've done on the Battery University website, Lithium batteries um, have a better longevity, uh, they, they last um, much better if, if they've got a 50% or 30% charge rather than a full charge, even in cold weather. Now, why on earth uh, is this? It's, it's, it's going on everywhere. Everyone's talking about this, but there seems to be hardly anything being discussed on, um, on the corporate media. They're just asking silly questions, which is kind of, yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on. So this other guy, Jeff Buys Cars, his channel, um, he's been talking about what's going on. Um, somebody's died. People are dying. So there's one lost life and many injured in EV-related cargo ship. I mean, enough is enough already, question mark. Um, so... This cargo ship carrying 3,000 cars catches fire in North Sea. Um, 
Uh, there's another guy. This is this guy's in Australia. Um, runaway 500 EV meltdown on cargo ship. Proof our cities aren't ready for full EV deployment. Now, <laughs> what is scary is I actually saw uh, an article. Um, I don't think it's in here, but I saw an article um, that they were talking about putting these um, uh, garages below blocks of flats for, for where they could charge up EV vehicles. Now, that not that a disaster waiting to happen? Now, if you've got a garage underneath a block of flats with people living above them, and you get one EV, one electric vehicle, catches fire, then the whole building's in danger. And then insurance companies are also talking about this, saying that they're refusing to insure, um, um, or the insurance is going to be extremely high uh, for electric vehicle drivers, electric vehicle owners. Um, it's everywhere. There's so much stuff going on here. These are all the articles that are going on right now. So the other one, just I think that's Bloomberg there. Cargo ship full of cars catches fire off Dutch coast. It's another one. Fire breaks out on on board cargo vessel carrying nearly three thousand cars. I'm not sure if that's the same article, but yeah, it might be. But that's five months ago. Two firefighters die in blaze on ship carrying five thousand cars. Clearly, that's another one. So look, people are dying, and it's just crazy so mercedes electric cars on burning cargo ship blame for catastrophic fire you see the thing that this they don't tell you uh well that you can find out is that an electric car fire is is not you can't put it out like a normal fire because the lithium batteries produce their own oxygen or something so they've been trying to smother these fires with water but the the only way to, to effectively put these fires out is to submerge the vehicle in tanks of water. And I've also seen some videos where they've been, um, where some of the cars are either pushed into a river or dumped into a huge um, truck that's with a huge, you know, where the, the back of the, the truck is full of water, right? So they literally have to submerge the vehicle totally in water to stop the vehicle from causing any more harm to people around them so look at this it's just everywhere if you look at it um so a cargo ship full of luxury cars caught on fire in atlantic that's another one um ntsb used vehicle battery caused weak long cargo fire ship fire so yeah this is just ridiculous i mean and why are the um why are they trying to push electric vehicles onto the public it's just not safe it's people's families need to know about this they need to learn about this because this is this is dangerous i've just recently heard about two buses two london buses caught fire um ironically buses come in twos don't they usually so Two buses catch fire at pretty much the same time. Um, so there was another article I saw recently, which is probably not in these search re results, but um, um, in China they were um, decommissioning a lot of uh, electric vehicles or scooters, or electric scooters I think they were, bikes, motor motorcycles, and they had them all stored at this depot and one of them caught fire and because they were packed so closely the whole um, storage yard everything in the storage yard basically caught fire because of one electric vehicle um they're just deadly um so another one the salvage crew say massive ship fire wasn't caused by electric cars right right okay no it's everywhere i mean this you can't this this countless there's too much evidence um spontaneous fires occurring with electric vehicles smoke rises from cargo ship fire in north sea that, that's five months ago it could be the same one these are five months there was a big spate, spate of them i have i got a suspicion that they've stopped shipping them actually because um of the, all these these disasters that have been happening 
Several electric cars go up in flames while being transported by truck. That's another one. This, that's a sun. Burning cargo ship. Where's that? That's five months ago. It could be the same one article that we've already seen. But there's, there's a lot of coverage out there. Now, this homeowner questions EV safety after fire destroys her uh, knocker tea home. So that's... She, <coughs> she obviously... Um, those homeowners are, are lucky if they survive because a lot of cases these cars are stored in garages that are attached to the homes and um, uh, another one a freighter a freighter a freighter carrying nearly three thousand cars catches my north sea i think that's the same one different news agent news source but yeah netherlands dutch authorities finally begin towing burning ev laden freight ship so that's where they, they had to tow it because the mission, the actual ship was destroyed. Um, so, yeah, it's just scary. It really is. Um, so I wanted to just do a video about this because I'm not sure how many people out there are, are actually aware of it. But uh, <clears throat> it's just terrifying. Terrifying. I mean, these um, automotive um, car manufacturers... Um, they're really struggling right now. But look at this one here, right? This ship, it's, look at the discoloration. It's gone brown. That's because of the heat. The ship basically nearly melted. And uh, they couldn't get to the, they couldn't get to them because it, they were all stacked inside the ship and they had to wait until they burnt out because there was no way to get to the, the, sh the cars. They were just burning out of control. I remember seeing that story. Um... um so this is the one um, cargo ship still burning 20 hours later. Um, 4,000 luxury cars aboard burning cargo ship. So you work that out. Um, if each car is around 60,000 or 80,000 pounds, depending on... If these are luxury cars, then you would guess that they're actually more than 60,000, probably 18 to 200,000. Work that out. 4,000 times 80,000. How much money is that? That's a lot of money. So, I mean, obviously these car manufacturers are going to be in deep shit. And I've heard that <clears throat> General Motors and, and um, um, Ford um, um, look at, are, got, are looking into backtracking and going back to um, conventional um, diesel and electric or possibly uh, hybrids um, they're looking to hybrid cars vehicles because they, they seem to have got a better uh, track record for safety um, yeah it just goes on and on um, there's such a lot going on here I mean there should be a lot more coverage on this because people people I mean it's, it's ironic because um, I get these people coming around to my house uh, every year to do a gas safety check, check, right? To check the plumbing to make sure there's no gas leaks, to make sure I'm not I'm I'm not going to die of fire or get burnt alive, and and they're, they're selling this stuff, these basically uh, fire time bomb things that are, could go off at any minute. They're selling these things to people, and they, so it makes you wonder what if they're really that concerned about our health and safety why the hell are they selling these things that can burst into flames it doesn't it doesn't make sense <clears throat> it doesn't make sense to me one bit um so you could just do a search i mean look at the title i searched um <clears throat> it's in the top there ev cargo ship fire go and do a search for yourself and have a look and look at some of these videos because it's 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 terrifying really um electric classic cars 80k views eight months ago the truth about electric car fires um so anyway just a short video i wanted to do on this um i mean look i mean <clears throat> There's been talk about free energy devices. Uh, they're also uh, China. China is also currently developing what they call a nuclear battery at the moment, which is supposed to 
last 50 years they got the 50 year battery and that's supposed to be able to power people's mobile phones longer than the phone will last they've used those um, types of battery on satellites and they're gonna they're talking about making it releasing it to the general public that would be a good thing because these things have proven themselves to be safe um, because the way they work is uh, they produce the amount of power you need on demand they don't actually have a massive amount of energy stored in them. They actually produce energy as you're using it, which is a different thing to a normal battery. A normal battery, you might have, say, 60 amp hours stored in it, like one of these EVs. They might have a few thousand amp hours stored in them. Whereas um, this nuclear battery, apparently, yeah, it doesn't have that much amount of power stored in it. It, it produces the power as you need it. Um, so let's say your phone uses um, 150 milliamps. It would produce that 150 milliamps as you're using it rather than excessive amounts of hundreds of amp hours. You know what I mean? So there's a difference between a nuclear battery and one of these lithium-ion batteries. And the, the way it works is makes it safer anyway so yeah nuclear batteries sound scary but you know they're not because uh, smoke alarms also use um, a small amount of um, radi radioactive isotope in them to detect smoke molecules to be able to make the um, smoke detector work and uh, Robert Murray Smith recently did a video on how you could make um, a nuclear battery uh, his was only producing a few microamps though uh, a few milliamps, a few microamps, but um, so basically, the they are more sa they are safer um, than um, than lithium batteries. That's for sure. Um, so another container ship fire. So also another issue was that a chinese guy a mechanic in china was talking about how the batteries are actually in the bottom of the vehicle and they can be damaged by rocks that get thrown up by the wheels and uh, that can start a chain reaction that can cause the car to burst into flames so just driving in a rocky situation over in, in a stony on a stone, stony road um, could also damage the a lithium ion battery back in an electric vehicle and that can actually put you in danger as well and insurance companies are, are starting to turn their backs on uh, insurance as regards insuring them because they're just so dangerous and obviously insurance companies aren't going to be paying out for something which they can uh, feel confident in the safety and the reliability so the premiums are going to go for the roof and they are going for the roof um, some some uh, other EV vehicle owners have actually said, you wouldn't believe how much my insurance has gone up by. Well, that's probably because of all these fires that have been happening. Um, so, yeah, just go and take a look. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for... Uh, I, I just can keep on scrolling this forever. It just goes on and on and on. See you later. Bye for now.